Hey, this is Tyler with Nanobox, and I want to show you how in just a few short minutes how you can use Nanobox to create a full development environment to run and develop your application within. So to get started, I have a very simple Python application, and we can see in the source code, it doesn't really do much, it just returns hello world. But that's all that we need for this example. And so with an application, and it doesn't matter if your application is Python, Ruby, PHP, uh, Golang, Elixir, it doesn't matter. Uh, with, with Nanobox, all we need to do to get started is create a box file, .yaml file, and that file, that's a configuration file that informs Nanobox how to create the environment for your app. So in this case, all we have to say is that for my app to run, let's use the Python engine to build the environment. With that in place, I can go back over into the root of my application and just type nanobox run. And nanobox is now going to build an isolated virtual development environment. And it's gonna install everything that you need uh, for your application. And it's not gonna do, it's not gonna install any of this on your machine. It's all uh, within this isolated uh, virtual environment. And so, looks like it's already installed everything that it needs and now it's gonna drop us right in. Cool, so already I have an environment and I'm dropped right into that environment and I can see that I already have Python installed. So in order to run this particular application, I do need to install Flask and uh, with, with, uh, with this uh, um, uh, Python environment, I need to install it with pip. So I just gonna install Flask, and completely inside this environment here, I have everything that I need to install dependencies. And now I can actually run the app. And it's running. So if I could, uh, and actually one other really cool thing that you can do here with Nanobox is you can add for, for a convenience, you can add a DNS alias. So with that in place, I can hop over to my browser, open a new tab, and say flask.dev port 5000, and there's my application. So Nanobox is, you know, makes this process of developing your application really simple. You don't, you don't have to know how to install Python, how to configure uh, pip, and the same thing would go if you're using Rails, if you're using Ruby, if you're using PHP. If you know, regardless of the uh, of of the uh, the runtime that you need, Nanobox makes it really simple. And so, one other thing I'll just show you real quick is that when you exit the environment, so if I I close down this application, the entire application or the entire environment is totally shut down. So I'm no longer using it. And, and now it's shut down. So hopefully this has been a quick introduction into uh, how um, Nanobox can create a, a, de a development environment for, um, for your application in just a, a few short minutes. So stay tuned, we've got some other cool stuff coming.